Hi everyone, James here with another edition of uh, B9 Robot Build Video. Um, so today I'm going to show you my latest solution to my um, head lift and rotate mechanism. Um, in my previous videos I showed you how I built a, a new platform to mount the head lifter on and I got a a, uh, I don't know if you can see it in there very well, but I got a cam uh, right here that rotates and lifts up the um, mechanism that slides up and down on these um, rods here. And uh, that's how I did the lift of the, of the head. Um, my initial solution to doing um, the rotation of the head was very similar to how um, David Chopius uh, did his. Uh, basically mounted the motor and the gear in the radar. Um, but I didn't have a whole lot of success with that. Uh, mostly because I'm not the world's greatest machinist. And I had a tendency to not get things mounted exactly right. And um, when I first did that I had mounted the motor in a position that was just too tight on the gears and, and just caused too much problems um, in, in the mesh. Um, so then I, I moved a, the motor down into my um, bracket that I had built to mount the collar and the radar onto the torso or onto the center support structure. I put the motor there, uh, but the the main plate of that was made out of plexiglass and, and that too also has a little bit too much flex and I just couldn't get a good uh, mesh on the gears. So then I came up with a third solution which, which I moved the motor down onto um, the top of that platform I just showed you earlier at the beginning of this video. Um, mounted it on there. Um, but I still... Uh, that And then the mount I used actually it was a uh, adjustable mount uh, set up so I could adjust the the mesh on the on the gears but um, because the motor was then on a different mounting part or mounted to a different part than what the drive gear or the, the spur gear was up in the radar I again had um, too much flex between the, the two parts and I just couldn't get a good rotation so this is my fourth method, and this one I think is going to work pretty good. Um, so basically, uh, from an earlier video, if you remember, this platform right here with the linear bearings, that's the part that slides up and down on those rods that I showed you. Uh, it basically goes mounted like this um, and slides up and down on the, on the uh, those rods. Um, and I originally had a plexiglass plate here, but I replaced that with a metal plate. But essentially, that um, cam that's mounted on the servo motor uh, turns and that lifts this up and down. And so what I've done is I've mounted the motor that turns the head onto this platform. Now, the only trouble with that is it adds more weight. And I actually haven't tested this yet power-wise, but I think the, the, the servo motor I got to do the lift can handle this much weight. I sure hope it does, because this method's going to work pretty good if I can get it to lift. <laughs> um, but what I've done is I've mounted everything for rotating the head onto this platform. So the motor's mounted there. Uh, again, this is all octobotic stuff. Um, I really like their stuff. It, it works out real well. Lots of different things you can do with it. Um, so I mounted the motor on, on an octobotics plate. Uh, a couple of offsets or four offsets here um, to mount the, uh, the plate that does the lift or where the cam lifts it. Uh, and also gives me a space to put in uh, right here. This black thing is, is my um, uh, slip ring in which the power leads can go up into it and then in the top up here it rotates and allows these wires up here to be able to rotate 
without twisting up. Um, so that's the slip ring that's mounted right in there. And then um, got a um, locking collar there. And then I put a tube. Instead of a shaft, I've got a tube coming up through. Um, you can barely see it there, but right there is a, a pillow block bearing. And so that tube goes through there, and the, and the um, collar keeps it from moving. Um, there's a hub. They call it a um, mounting hub that's here that has screws in it that you can mount your gear on. Uh, and it's got a, a pin or a set screw, and that locks onto the shaft, or in this case, the tube, where my wires come up. Um, and so now this is all in one unit here, and so when that turns, you see the basically will turn the head. Um, if you remember my earlier videos, my neck has slots in it where it goes down through a tube that's in a radar. And the way it worked before was the radar and the gears were all up in, up in the radar section. That would turn, and the neck would just sit on a plate, and it had little wheels on it, and it would just spin around. Now I'm doing it the opposite way. The motor and everything is at the bottom of the neck, PVC neck piece. The slot that's in that goes down over this tubing here that I cut and drilled holes in and mounted directly to the spur gear. And so the, the neck just drops right down over that. And of course the weight of the radar and the brain and the bubble and all that drops down on here. So basically it all just sits um, on top of here. And when it turns, it turns the whole head. Uh, much more solid mounting set them. Um, I think this is going to work really, really well. So let me uh, put this inside the or on the uh, mount and show you how it all goes together. Um, I'll be right back. All right, so there it's mounted on the uh, platform. You see, here's the linear bearings uh, that slide up and down on these rods, and. Here you can, oops, sorry, didn't mean to shake the camera so much to make you dizzy. Um, so there you can see the cam, and as it rotates, um, the platform either moves up or down based on which way it rotates. You can see it going down there, just like that. And then, you can see right here, when the motor turns on, which again, I don't have, but when that motor turns on, it basically will rotate the head just like that so let me go ahead and put the uh, radar on and we'll see the final assembly all right so there's the the, the uh, uh, crown and a radar um, you can see how it just basically slides on the um, center support structure rods um, so that just sits all on there And now let's see if I can do this without dropping the camera or the head or whatever. But anyway, there's uh, you can see there's the slot in the neck. The neck drops down through the radar. I turn it so it goes through the uh, the slots will meet uh, up with the bar that's in there. And then you can see here uh, I got my wires. I didn't get my wires in the right place, but now you can see. Right there is a pretty good view, I think. Yeah, maybe not. I'm trying to get in there where you can see it. There it is. So you can see here that the the neck drops down over that tube. So now when the gears turn, of course now I can't get my hand in there to actually turn the gears without pinching myself. Um, anyway, when those gears turn, the head turns. And let me zoom out here. Maybe you can see this. I can maybe get far enough in. Well, hang on. Let me put the stand on and then I'll show you from a distance. Hang on. Okay, so I can get in here and turn this. And you'll be able to see. Uh, when the gears turn, the radar now turns as well, and the head and everything else. Um, and then, when the 
lifter lifts up and head lifts up. I think that's going to work pretty well. Much more solid. Um, this idea of having the uh, I guess that might be a good way of seeing it. Maybe uh, get all these wires out of the way. You can see probably a little better. Um, having the the neck just sit on there um, allows for any gives enough slack to if there's anything misaligned. It doesn't really matter because everything's just sitting on top of that and allows me to easily remove it just by lifting it up and taking it out. So, anyway, uh, so that's my uh, method. Um, I'll uh, eventually hook up the power and make sure everything works, but um, the, the motor I'm using is essentially the same power that I was using before, same torque as I was using before. So I think it'll work really well. Um, but I'll basically show you a video of it all working. Uh, but I just wanted to show you the mechanics of it um, and see if that sparks anybody's uh, brain into coming up with ideas on how to do that robot. Thanks for watching.